Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? But y'all, I'm out here in my workshop here. Uh, this is eventually going to be part of my leather shop. But uh, I got this uh, tape on here, so I'm going to roll out some leather that I got uh, just got a couple days ago. And uh, this first leather I've had probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a month maybe. And uh, I haven't had an opportunity to kind of roll it out and look at it. I've opened it up. And uh, this is going to be the first time getting it actually throw it out uh, this leather here came from frog jelly leather some two three ounce uh, leather I don't, know, I don't know how you pronounce this it's a PC maybe a C P E C I but uh, it's going to be uh, just some uh, thinner leather and I don't have no particular project it's showing a look like about 24 square foot side and um, Roll it out here and see what we got here. This would be good uh, making like a, I guess maybe a liner, a little thin liner for something. Um, this first time I bought any of uh, this leather from this uh, actual tannery. So um, it feels soft and supple, just you know, just the feel of it. Uh, got a little blemish right here. Which ain't bad at all. A little hole and a little hole here. Uh, overall, it looks really good, y'all. Um, yep. Let me go flip it over to see the back side over here. Show y'all what that looks like. So, uh, right off the bat, just kind of looking here, it looks like. Uh, I can see maybe this has been exposed a little bit to some sunlight somewhere hanging up right here. You see it's darker color and this is lighter color here. So uh, that don't really necessarily uh, make a difference. And the whole piece has actually uh, looked like a little darker on the edges, but like I said, that don't make a difference on that. Most of my stuff, um, I dye anyway. So uh, that's that leather right there. Uh, let me just go ahead and Get that put back up. Let me put it back over here. I've had some uh, thinner leather I've been using. Uh, I'm really, really sure what tannery it came from. So I always kind of like when I'm working on something, just in case, you know, uh, for reasons of customer asking or um, For me knowing making something down the road, I kind of like know where the leather can come from. And uh, the second box right here, this, token, uh, this leather is coming from American Leather Direct, and I've done some videos before on them. I've bought uh, most of my leather from them. like it's going to be about 26 uh, square feet right here and uh, this is going to be uh, strap uh, tooling leather 
in natural uh, color. We got a nice big piece right here. So far, y'all looks pretty good. I, I see some little minor blemishes here, right in here, and uh, right over in this area, right in here toward the bottom down there um, you know leather sometimes looks like you, you use some of that you know and uh, actually has character whatever you're building yeah overall this is a nice piece let me slip it over what the back side looks like It looks good y'all it's pretty tight grain right here uh, that's what I like um, even down here on the uh, belly of it if you look right in here it's not really too bad it's not too fuzzy down in here so I, that's a that's really nice uh, piece of leather y'all I get a lot of use out of this leather here and I'll say along the back back here so I'm gonna put me some belt blanks out uh, I can get that so, yeah, I'm happy this piece of leather looks real good. So, uh, let me go ahead and get this folded back up. This is uh, some leather I got from we Weaver Leather. And this first time I ever ordered anything from Weaver for his leather. And uh, see how that looks. This is going to be Herman Oak uh, holster leather, eight and nine ounce. And uh, this is going to be the first time I've ever ordered any uh, Herman Oak uh, leather. So we've got a side of this leather. I'm going to see how that looks. Showing here, uh, this looks like to be a uh, 21 uh, square feet piece. So we can, we can actually see it's not quite as uh, wide as my other leather was. Uh, I say this probably come on a little bit uh, smaller uh, bull or whatever they took it from there, cow. Uh, back of the leather here. Seems real smooth, y'all. Uh, down toward the belly, it's got showing a little fuzz right down in here. That's gonna be normal down in here, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Um, I can tell already just this uh, Herman Oak leather. I can tell it's uh, kind of real uh, feels dense, like really uh, gonna be like a stiffer type leather compared to the uh, other leather I got from American Leather Direct. And that could be a good thing, a bad thing, I guess, depending on what you, you know, want. But uh, the back looks good here. And uh, let me flip it over and show you what this other side looks like. Start down here around the butt of the leather. That looks good. 
show you here. You got this little hole right there. And, and we got leather sides, y'all. You're not going to have a completely perfect piece. Uh, the less blemishes, uh, the better. The better it is. Uh, I can't. I can't remember. I want to say this is going to be like a A B grade, so it's going to be like a tannery run, I believe. Uh, so. Show right there. I don't know if they can see that right in there. It's, that's the leather. It sells real cool looking right there. Uh, that, that, that looks real nice uh, on sheaves and stuff like that. I like that right there in leather. It makes it like a marbling uh, effect. It's real nice. Uh, yeah, this piece is real good. Um, so yeah, there it is. I uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, a couple pieces of leather right here. Uh, getting kind of warm in here. I don't have an air conditioner here yet. I don't have it finished in here for my leather shop. But the main thing in today's video, y'all, just want to show y'all this leather I got. And uh, I'll let you uh, know how I like this uh, Herman Oak leather. Uh, like I said, I've never used it before. Now, just by filling this right here, uh, this is supposed to be an eight and nine ounce leather. Uh, I haven't gauged it yet, and I will. And uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me go uh, gauge that real quick, and I'll, I'll be back, and I'm going to gauge this other leather over here from American Leather Direct, and let you know what that is. And uh, But to me, y'all, this, this feels a little bit thinner than I got over here on this uh, other leather from American Leather Direct. So let me uh, measure that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my measurements done on uh, both these leathers, and I went ahead and laid out my American Leather Direct leather here on top, and my Herman Oaks on the bottom. And both of them are me measuring uh, eight and nine ounce leather. Uh, this uh, American Leather Direct might be just a little bit uh, thicker. This is measuring about three and a half uh, on average millimeter in thickness uh, along the back of it. And this here is uh, measuring around about 360 to 370. So this is just a little bit thicker. But both of them is within that range of eight and nine ounce leather. So. Uh, uh, I just want to show y'all here uh, the color difference in this leather. Uh, this is your Herman Oak right here on the bottom. And uh, this should tool up real nice. And then this always tools real good also. And uh, you can just tell the difference in the size. I wish the table was big enough to show you both uh, pieces there. But uh, let me see if I can just go ahead and pull this out here and lay it on top. You can see the difference, y'all, the size of this leather. Um, the difference here. And that's just, uh, that's just going to come from, you know, like I say, a larger uh, cow versus a smaller one. That's it. And, that, that's, and like I say, you, you get some bigger pieces of Herman Oak, I'm sure. But uh, I look uh, forward to getting to use this Herman Oak to see how it does. Because I've heard a lot of good things about Herman Oak leather. But I can tell you also that I've been very happy with the leather I get from American Leather Direct. But uh, I just want to show you all day this uh, comparison between leather here. And uh, like I said, I want to do some uh, projects and uh, doing some work with the Herman Oak. And uh, I'll, I'll show you how that turned out. And I appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends, my family years. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.